How much teak wood should I use for this next project? I was thinking that much. <laughs> Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to take some scrap pieces of teak wood and some epoxy and show you how to be able to make this little beauty right here. Yeah, so don't forget to subscribe to see more of these videos. <laughs> and without further ado. Okay, so what I've gone ahead and did is <clears throat> taped up the bottom of this piece of scrap plywood that I had and laid out the teak wood in the pattern that I wanted. Uh, I gave it a light pre-sanding of just 120 grit, um, just doing like all the straight sides, some of the curved angles but not really much. Kind of for a piece like this, the more irregular the piece of wood is, the better it is for it, really. So now what I'm going to do is take some more masking tape and kind of lay it on the bottom here of the wood and kind of just tape all these together to kind of keep, to keep the pattern. And then I'm going to flip it over, tape up the sides, and then fill it with my epoxy. There's many different ways that you can do this and you know make a mold to be able to pour your epoxy and stuff like that. Like you can use corrugated plastic, you can use a piece of plywood, a couple pieces of like pieces of wood that you can you know, tack together and cover with tape. You, know, you can do plexiglass, you can do acrylic, a lot of different things you can use. I'm just doing this for the sake of like I have the materials and it's uh, I haven't tried it this way before, so I want to try it and see how it comes out this way. <laughs> but that's why I'm taking the extra precaution to taping it on up here, just in case if it starts to leak and go all over the place, I have <laughs> something to, you know, cover my ass with here and not lose quite everything. So, yeah, that's that, and then I'll come back to let me get all taped up and uh, for this for this project I'm going to use this really cool Okinawa green pigment that I got from eye candy off of uh, Amazon see how well that picks up on the camera but I think it's going to turn out really pretty between the golden teak wood and then the green should make for a really nice <coughs> nice nice effects I'm going to do six ounces of resin for this. Well, six ounces of it. Three ounces of resin, three ounces of hardener, which is what this epoxy calls for. It's half one to one ratio.
Okay, so I let this cure overnight. Uh, it's not tacky, it's fully set up. Um, so now, like a little bit of the epoxy did leak through the <clears throat> through the tape. It got like a little bit, a lot down here. Not so much up here, which is good. So for the most part, I'm going to call that a win. And uh, <clears throat> you know, the tape held together and kept the epoxy in. As you can see, like it's still all in there. It didn't leak all over the place. So that's a win in my book. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to pry this up off the board. I'm going to get, sand down some of these parts on here on a teak where I had a bit of drip. So I'm going to sand that down so it's nice and clean. You know, get this one last final polish with uh, some, probably go up to like 800 grit sandpaper on all this. And then I'm going to finish it off with a nice beeswax oil finish or this uh, this Howard's Butcher Block um, <coughs> conditioner. The only reason being is because, you know, teak wood always has natural oils in it that make it... Uh, rot resistant, water resistant, pest resistant. So I'm just, it's this is not really just to finish it and make it weather resistant because it's already a very durable hardwood. This is just really more to like kind of help enforce that and help bring it a nice shine. Because I, and I think that the mineral oils in the beeswax and in this uh, conditioner help to do that really well. So and then yeah once I get it all polished up I'll probably just sand on make sure that all the edges are level in here that's one of the risks you run when you're doing like a tape edge like this you know someone will bulge out like up here it's a little bit bulgy but like I said the more regular the piece that's the more unique it actually makes it and to me the more valuable it makes it too as a personal artistic piece so uh, without further ado I'm gonna you know, get this sanded and then we'll move on to the next step.
what a fun build. This was a lot of fun for me to build. Uh, I think we're going to call this piece just green and gold. Cause keep it simple because it says such beautiful golden teak wood that Okanagan green came out so awesome. And I think I, I added just the right uh, amount of pigment to this because it's still a little translucent. So as you can see, put it up to the light. The light shines through and it gives it such a really beautiful effect. Um, <clears throat> so, like, and I'll put some pictures at the end of the video here of it in the sunlight that I took. Came out really super awesome. So, <clears throat> thanks, thanks guys for watching. You know, uh, and it really means a lot when you guys do watch. You guys like and like the videos you guys comment even if they're bad comments if you don't didn't like the video please leave a comment you know leave something give me a chance to explain my opinion or you know see what you would have liked me to do different or change or and again if you had positive you know comments you really liked it please leave me a comment i'd love to hear your guys feedback positive and negative also a big shout out to my friend michael allen over at plots voice a uh, really cool guy does some awesome you know music and some great original pieces he does some cool cover uh, cover pieces too his his cover of bob seger's turn the page was awesome just to die for so go go check him out i'll leave a uh, link to his channel in the description and also uh, i'll leave something at the end here he i met him on a facebook group you know of youtube creators and i just think it's such a so important for you know, especially smaller YouTube creators like myself and like um, like Michael to, you know, really support each other and help everyone grow. And he's just been a really cool guy. He helped me and helped me to do the intro uh, for the opening of this video. The opening intro title that you saw that was done on Panzoid and it's not, this is not sponsored by Panzoid or anything, but... You know, I saw he does it at the beginning and endings of his videos, and I asked him about it. He explained it to me, helped me, helped me through it, helped me kind of guide it through, and helped inspire me to do better with my videos. And you know, I hope that I help do the same for his. And that's just what all being part of a community is all about. So, a really cool guy. Please go check him out. Uh, he actually asked if I could do another Will It Burn video, so I'm gonna. Do another one of those next for him and feature one of his songs in there so be on the lookout for that and after that i also tried my hand at making a solid teak wood ring it's the the first attempt i don't know if you guys can see that very well but i think it came out pretty good and hopefully the next attempt will come out better because this one doesn't fit quite that well a little bit big and now I got it stuck. Oh. But, yeah, definitely excited to try my hand at these wood rings. I've done one bent wood ring, which I'll probably make a video about that next uh, as well. So be on the lookout for that, guys. And as always, thank you for your support. Be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, hit the notification button for to be notified when I do put up my next video. And if you guys have anything that you'd like to see or anything that you want to see me try my hand at building, you know, with just basic tools and, and like, you know, simple power tools like the drill and spade bit that I have, um, you know, be sure to let and like, let me know, comment, uh, comment down below with what you'd like to see me try or if you see anything that I could do better or that, you know, you'd like me to explain more, please, please do. <clears throat> thanks again. Thanks again for watching and take care. Thank you.